What's up everyone? All right, so this is gonna be the final walkthrough video of our Cadillac Escalade build. So let me flip the camera around, let's get to it. If you've seen our previous build videos, then you'll know exactly what we've done under here. But in short, we have two excess power batteries. Uh, it's a D3100 over there, a D4800 over here, and an upgraded custom electric billet aluminum uh, high output alternator. So uh, custom cable tray, hold all the wires out of the way on this side SMD fuse distribution SMD ground distribution everything tied back looking good moving to the inside we went with the sky high car audio two-way premium Neo component set. We added a second set of tweeters in the sail panel here. We did the uh, red background just to kind of accent the color of the truck. We have a custom, sinister custom car audio base knob with voltage readout. And in the front of the console here, we have our SMD uh, voltage gauge and our SMD temperature gauge. Moving inside the console, we kept our factory USB and SD card reader so that he could still upgrade the navigation when needed. Uh, these two switches operate the LEDs in the back Uh, this one here, this is the fan uh, controller. Controls the speed of the fans, how much output they put. And this one here is for the voltage regulator for the alternator under the hood. So, moving to the back doors. Another set of Sky High Car Audio uh, Neo Premium Two-Way Components. We did the red background on this as well.
going to the very back. We have our Gately Audio. It's a four cubic foot box. It's a sub up port back. And in it are two Alpha Series Gately Audio 12s. We built this little panel right here to cover the amplifiers so that if you want to go to the grocery store or to the gym and you want to put some stuff back here, you don't have to worry about messing up the amplifier and the acrylic and getting stuff down in there with the wiring and all that. So let me take this panel off and when we come back, I'll show you what we've got inside the amp rack. Okay, panel's off. It just sits down in there it's a real snug fit got the back of it lined with uh, some felt just to help with the uh, sound dampening and keep keep the vibrations down and if you watched our other videos in this build series and you'll know how we built all this stuff but running the subs we have this b2 riot 7500 and it's uh, tuned pretty conservatively, uh, especially right now during the break-in period for the subs. Probably put a little bit more to it, but this thing really puts a heck of a lot of power out. But room for expansion for future. If he decides he wants to upgrade and put more subs or whatever, we'll have plenty of power for that. Running all four doors, we have the B2 Rage 1000.4. Everything's lit up with LEDs underneath. We got the Gately Audio etched in. And of course the Sinister Custom Car Audio logo etched in. This was a really fun build. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I really wanted to make sure everything was exactly how I wanted it. Make sure it's top notch for the customer. I know they're going to be super stoked to get it back. They should be here today to pick it up. We have plenty of builds coming up in the future, guys. Uh, we have a couple of things uh, going on, including one of my own. I'm going to start doing some work on my new Ram. But, uh, yeah, man, hang tight with us, and uh, we'll have some more builds here coming up real soon. Peace. Hey, before we get out of here, do me a big favor. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Maybe do a thumbs up. That'd be awesome, man. Later.